close up hey everybody I had to check my settings on my camera I know look y'all it's 12 noon okay a little after about 10 after um, I am just getting to work because I had a dentist appointment this morning that I had to go to y'all going to the dentist right y'all keeping your, your stuff right your teeth now I'm looking for my ID I don't know why I just thought about it, but I'm usually pretty good about putting it in this bag. But I don't see it. Got my bag from the dentist. I love my bag from the dentist. Although years ago I didn't give a crap because I didn't even like going to the dentist. But now, give me my bag. Y'all don't have my ID. Dang, I hate when I forget my ID. But I never forget it. That's the thing. I always have it. <gasps> I don't see it anywhere. Hold on. Dang. I'm being so hopeful. I'm like, and when I don't have it, if I don't see it in the bag, it's like... You know how you set the, set things down at home, and you're like, okay, it's on, it's right there, or it's right there. But walking out, I didn't see it anywhere. So, yeah, this is not a good look. I don't have it on. It's not in here because I would put it in here. Let me find this ID. Okay, Woo. found it. It was down in the very bottom. So anyway. That's one thing I do. I wish I could do that more. Although I'm getting better with my keys. And I try to put them in the same spot all the time. But work, like this is my work bag. So I always throw it in here. I try to keep it in the front pocket. But if I'm in a hurry or it's the weekend, I take it off. I just throw it in the bag. And just make sure it's in the bag so we have it let's go in and see what's going on inside okay y'all so I made it into work um, whew, I want to do something for you all as far as a stick or something we'll see we're not going to eat outside and see what Tay is doing but let's we'll see what's in my bag I love my bag from the dentist y'all like to get the bag from the dentist treats Sonic Care toothbrush. I don't have one. Might need to invest for the tartar buildup. The tartar plaque. Is that the same thing? That. But this is what I use now as far as toothpaste. I use the Enamel Health, and they always give it to me. So it's the only thing I buy now, um, outside of just regular Crest tartar control. That's what I buy too. But ever since she started giving me this, I buy this as well. So I got another toothbrush. It's like a basic toothbrush. The Wave. All right, Colgate. I like my Reaches and my Roll Bees. But we'll see. Um, got some coupons. That's hot. For floss and mouthwash. And got some more floss. Yay. Some little brushes. I love these brushes. And um, I think I need to get some more because she was talking about the front bottom teeth. They weren't bad, but she said I'm a, she said she'd give me this, so I know I need to get some more and use those more than the floss. So yay, my goodie bag. So now we're gonna go see what Tay is up to. So we can go over there, maybe see her do her EKG or um, I can come back and do a stick. So let's go see. Be back. Okay, so it's the end of the day. I came over on Tay's side. I was gonna do so we were gonna try to do some things. She wants to um we were gonna do some things, but um yeah, we didn't have time. Although we weren't busy. Of, granted, I got here at 12 something. It's it's um, time for me to go. But um, I, uh, what was I going to say? Because 
well, we did have a little time, but we don't have time to do um, a few things we wanted to do. And one of the things we wanted to do was show you guys the EKG machine and how it started, blah, blah, blah. If you're interested in that, let me know. I don't do EKGs, but Tay does because she's an MA. As a phlebotomist, you kind of strictly do blood work, processing the blood, all of the stuff with the body fluids. Uh, so I like when I say all of the stuff sometimes because it's like, what? what do you mean? But yeah, you basically stay in the lab and you do lab related jobs, procedures, all that stuff. That's what I mean by that. But I want to go over these needles real quick because someone was asking me some questions about them and I was slightly confused, but I think it was the wording that they used and yeah. So the main, I want to go over the main um, blood collection needle that we use is the BD Vacutainer Eclipse needle, which is the needle that you attach to your holder. So. And I've shown you guys these before. They have the safety device on them. And then, of course, you remove the cap exposure needle. So these are the Eclipse, BD Eclipse blood collection needles. And they go on to your vacutainer holders like that. You just screw them on or screw on the vacutainer holder. And these are the two that we use the most. We use the 21s and the 22s. And yeah these are my preference i'm only talking about straight needles i'm not talking about your butterfly needles if you want me to go over those i can because you can use them with the vacutainer holder as well as the syringe and you guys have seen me do both but when you really want me to sit down and go over the needles just let me know because i know it can be confusing as far as terminology so you have your bd vacutainer eclipse needle and i don't know how else to or I don't know really what to say to remind you of the terminology for it except for an eclipse. I see this and I think eclipse because it's big and I don't know, it's like an eclipse. It's, it's going to cover something. So that's how you can look at that. It's going to cover the needle once you're done. So it's like an eclipse. Okay, so that's what those are. The other needles that I've shown you guys and that I've used, especially on myself, when I don't have any 23, butter 23 gauge butterflies, are the 25 gauge, the 23 gauge, and the 21 gauge safety glide needles. Now these are your BD safety glide needles and they are used with the syringe. So you have these needles which you attach to a syringe as opposed to these needles, your eclipse needles that you attach to the vacutainer holders. So. These are the different needles that we use here in the clinic. And mind you, I hardly ever run and get this particular set of supplies to use because we generally always get what we need with the um, Eclipse needle and or the butterfly. But if it's a really, really difficult stick and I just need one tube of blood and I don't know how else to get it, um, this is what this is my go-to and I've done that in the eval room before for Tay. I think she needed one tube of blood, maybe two. And if it was one tube, I'd grab the 5cc syringe and use this or the 10cc syringe, which will give me two to three tubes and use the um, Easy Glide. And they are called Easy Glide because as you know, the safety device is um, slightly different on them. So... It's a glide motion that you use as opposed to a flip motion that covers the whole needle. The needle is covered, but it's just called a different name. And then of course, last but not least, is the blunt fill needle. We don't use these in here. Um, just because we don't have to. I've done these just to show you in some of my previous videos, just to show you what it's like to have blood in a syringe and have to use the blunt fill needle. And that is what it's called. If you are looking for it, it is called the blunt fill needle because that is its only purpose. You don't use this to draw blood from a patient. I think someone, I confused someone in a previous video about that, but no, no, no. When you see this, no ma'am you don't use this to draw on anybody it is very blunt and it's only to transfer blood into needle into vials or tubes after you've collected with a syringe so that's what that's for so yeah thumbs up this video please guys if you like it thanks for watching my vlogs over the weekend um 
Yeah, so I'm going to keep this coming. We'll probably have a stick in the morning because someone wanted me to go over some sticks with the Easy Glide. So I'll try to do that when I get here in the morning, if not in the afternoon tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to all of my new subscribers. Um, thumbs up the video. Share, like, comment. And for those of you who are new here, please, please know that I appreciate you for subscribing and join us during live which i haven't done in a minute and this is another messed up week just because of the holiday i don't know if i'll do it tonight or not i'm going to try but um go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when i do go live and of course when my other videos go up as well so i do appreciate you guys i appreciate you for turning on the notification bell for those of you who don't get it i'm trying to check into that i read something but i can't remember right now what it said about that but i'll check into it again and let you know what to do so that you can get the notifications. So thank you guys so, so much. I'm going to go and I will be back in the morning. I will see you all then. Bye.